What is going on everybody? Cameron Chatterton with Chatterton Homes Group powered by Twin Oaks Real Estate. And today I have a very special treat for you all. This is our newest listing at 3 Bonnie Court in Pleasant Hill, California. Now this is a four bed, three bath, 2,700 square feet on a private lane. And it was built in 1981, been remodeled since then, additions added, and the backyard, I can't wait to show you. It is an oasis back there. It's perfect, you're gonna love it. So I can't wait to take you inside. Let's have some fun, follow me, let's do this. Welcome inside everybody. Now, when you first enter, we have some tile flooring right in that foyer, right when you enter. This big, beautiful front facing window, nice little area here with a coat closet on our other side. Lovely, lovely. And then we've got hardwood flooring that uh, separates the tile from the front door. So walking in, you've got this hardwood flooring, these floating shelves, and then this dining area. Right now it's seated for six, but I really feel you could probably put like eight, maybe 10 people here. Big enough dining room table, you know you have the family over for Christmas, Thanksgiving, whatever the holiday that you celebrate is. And then it accents really, really nicely, especially on those cold days, not like today, it is hot out. So we might not have this on for very long, but you have this beautiful fireplace, electric with the gas, you know, you don't really have to do anything. This beautiful insert right here with the black tile and the beautiful mantle on top of that. And then after dinner, you got a nice little seating area, built-in shelves as well, you know, hang out over here, or you can put the kids' table for uh, those holidays, you know. Beautiful chandelier. And then across the way from that, you have this cool little cove. Now they have this set up for a little bar area, which I really like. You know, you could put a bar stool, bar top, maybe a bar cart in here and have this as your little hangout after dinner. You guys are relaxing with the family, maybe some board games over in this area. Love it. Now, let's check out the bedrooms. It is separated to where you have three bed, two bath on one side, and then the primary is separated with its own little uh, suite on its own. So walking down this way, you've got hardwood flooring down. The crown molding goes throughout the entire home, which I also love. It's a nice little touch. You've got bedroom number one right here. We'll take you through it, splits over to carpet as well. Closet, nice size bedroom. They have it up, set up as an office right now. Then our bathroom number one, we have over in this area. You've got a nice vanity with a quartz countertop. And then they have this glass shower doors, which I really like. Uh, small curb lip that you come over, uh, penny tiles with the niche. I thought this was done really well. For those smaller bathrooms, when you have glass like this, it opens it up tremendously. It's kind of like a barn door style glass, which is cool. Walking on down, we are coming to our bath number two. So you have the bathroom where, you know, you have friends, family over that can use that one if they'd like. And then if you're staying in these bedrooms, you can have this one. You can even split it towards like, I got this bathroom, you get the other one. This one too, glass shower doors. You do get the tub in this one as well. Nice vanity, toilet looks great. And then you've got some green tile that lays around the outside. Um, you could shower and close this if you want, let people come in if they need to. You got bedroom number two right here, splits over to carpet, nice size bedroom, could be kind of a, you know, kids room, whatever you wanna make it. And then bedroom number three, right down this way, again, splits over to carpet, nice size room, also front facing, good closet, and you got a linen closet here as well. We're gonna head on over down to the living room and I wanna show you the kitchen. It's a great space that they have over here, so follow me. Now this part was an addition uh, back in the day that they added on. So this whole thing right here, they blew out and just made it so perfect and beautiful. I mean, the whole entertainment system that you have here, these cabinets, these are all built in done so well with these down lighting that they have, these glass cabinet doors too with the lighting inside. You can do a lot with this right here. I absolutely love it. It looks really, really good. Um, whoever was the, uh, the carpenter on this one did a good job. But major amount of space in here, right? So you have your living room and it is a proper great room, right? It is huge, just all the way blown out, all the way to our island. Love the living room though with the recessed lighting that you get a view of everything. You can have everybody over hanging out, enjoying themselves. We've got some black stainless steel refrigerator. We've got the stainless steel appliances as well. This is a five top burner with a nice hood, ton of space in this kitchen for you to be able to do everything you ever wanted. I mean, I don't even know what I would do with all this counter space, to be honest with you. Two tone cabinets, you've got this 
uh, white. It's actually three tones, actually. So you've got this kind of gold cabinetry on my side, and then you've got this white paneling around the back end of it. And then you have this kind of dark gray cabinets on the walls and underneath. Massive sink right here as well. Coming along, you've got some nice shutters. I'm a big fan of this kitchen. And then you have the wine cooler or drink cooler, whatever you want to toss in here is up to you. Uh, made by, I think this is Zephyr, made by Zephyr. This is a nice one. Dining room area as well. You have the formal dining room out by the fireplace, but then you have, you know, you're gonna eat breakfast every day, have dinner with just the family, right? You're, you're coming over here to eat. You got some really cool chandelier that matches our pendant lights up above too. Recess lighting throughout. I mean, this place is, it's perfect. I mean, it's huge. You can have everybody you ever wanted over. Um, and some island seating, which is great. You've got an overhang here. It's probably about eight to 10 inches overhang right here, which is really nice. And I wanna take you in to our primary bedroom, which is phenomenal. I think it is done so well and it's more space than you know what to do with. But while, when we're making our way down, down that way, look at how big the couch is. I mean, this is a huge living room. You could fit a ton of people here, have movie nights, the whole thing. And you might be able to see the backyard, which we'll go see in a little bit, but uh, I'm excited to show you guys that spot. So primary bedroom that leads us to our primary bathroom, the whole ensuite, is separated from all the other bedrooms. I can't stress that enough how it's so nice to be able to close your door and you don't have to listen to everybody else, right? Kids aren't banging on your door, coming in running around, you have your own individual space. Now, when you walk into this, I want you to look at the ceilings. There are these like cathedral step ceilings that go all the way up. This alone, and this could be its own house, to be honest with you, it's like your own studio over here. Now, what I like about this too, is you do have French doors that lead you out to the backyard that you can open up and head on outside. That'll lead us to our hot tub that we'll see later. Love the French doors, those are great massive windows that face the backyard privacy you know it's really nice small windows that bring in more light especially those two windows above the nightstands this is a huge bed i mean you could fit a cali king in here or even i think they have like a texas king or something like that i'm not sure i don't know the bed sizes but maybe you do christian i'm not sure but recessed lighting fan Really, really well done. Hardwood flooring that leads us over into our primary bathroom. You've got a double sink vanity over here with the mirrors, ton of space for storage. You got a little stool here if you wanna take a seat while you put your makeup on uh, or brush your teeth. I've never brushed my teeth sitting down now that I'm thinking about it. I might have to try that sometime soon. Uh, and tile throughout. And then you've got these steps over into your jacuzzi tub. Ton of space in here as well. I mean, you've got vaulted ceilings with a skylight in here. There's so much light, um, all natural, with this window as well. Tile that wraps around all the way to the back. Really nice stainless steel uh, finishes here. That leads us over to our glass enclosed uh, standing shower. Uh, penny tiles on the floor. You know, two niches on either side for you to, you know, his and hers shampoos. I don't know if you have, uh, I know, kind of gets annoying when somebody steals your shampoo all the time. So you can have yours and theirs. Uh, and then leading over to our water closet right here. Nice little toilet area, some nice fixtures for the towel. You've got a linen closet in here as well. And then our walk-in closet, which is so well done. I love the, you know, I think it's California closets that might do this. I'm not sure. I don't get paid by them, but it is a little plug by them. They do a really good job of providing organizers for walk-in closets. And you've got a ton of space in here and they do it so well. Um, huge fan of this. I definitely want one. They've got their shoes like labeled and boxed and I love it. Uh, it's an organizer's dream. So this is our primary bedroom, you know, at the end of the day to have something this big and have also a three bed and a two bath on the other side with all this space in here, you really can't beat it. I, don't, I haven't walked into a home like it since. So let's take a look outside in the backyard. That is my favorite spot of the entire home. Let's have a look. I do have one more thing I wanna show you before we head out into the backyard and I don't wanna skip it. It's a small thing, but you know, 
the devil is in the details at the end of the day with every home, and I think it is an important one, and that is the laundry room. Now, I think this place has a perfect laundry room that's separated between your garage coming in. You've got this really cool bookcase kind of, um, be able to like storage space for, or maybe a pantry even, uh, for you to put stuff in, and a little um, standing closet right here, or dresser little nook you have right here but then over into the laundry room you have your own sink washer and dryer and then you have all of this cabinet space it is a proper mud room separating from the garage to the mud room to the rest of the house you've got all of this cabinetry on the top and the bottom this is something that not a lot of people realize that they want but when they have it they're like i wish i've always had one how did i ever go without it um really really cool nice little addition um, and spec in the home. Now, let's head on to the backyard. Welcome to the Oasis, everybody. I'm so excited for you to finally have made it to the beautiful backyard that this place is. There was so much energy, time, and love put into this that I wanna show you everything back here. We'll go through all the little details as well, but we'll start off with the dining area. You've got your own outdoor dining, you know, on these beautiful days like today, where I'm crazy wearing a blazer. I might jump into the pool that I'm gonna show you in a minute. But this dining, set up for six. I really think you could fit eight to 10 in here as well. There's really cool awning. You've got these shades that come down during the really hot times as well. Chandelier, it's all lit up right now. It's just a perfect spot to really enjoy yourselves, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner with the family, friends, just you, yourself, whoever you want with you. Maybe you got a dog or a cat, who knows. So really cool. Now, as you're looking around and we're walking around back here, you're gonna see something really interesting. There are numerous, dozens of different types of species of bushes, plants, flowers, and trees. I swear every tree that I see back here is a different type of tree. Really, really cool. And what's most important about that is every single one of them is on its own individual drip system. You don't have to go around watering anything back here. It is all self-reliant. They've already thought of it. It's getting watered and being taken care of so you don't have to worry about it. Now headed over this way, we have our potting shed. Now you can do a couple different things with this. You can store materials that you need for the backyard. You can put your backyard uh, you know, seating areas in here, the chairs, anything like that to keep it, you know, the weather not beating it up and tearing it apart. Or you can have it as a potting shed. It's pretty big, it goes all the way down. It is its own little kind of studio for the backyard, which is really cool um, for you to store anything uh, that you need, any, uh, any materials or landscaping items. The landscaping back here, to segue into that, is great. The hardscape that they did, all of these rocks throughout on this, all this garden area that leads us over to these pavers that we have up here. These circular pavers, we've got it set up for some seating right now. You come out here, read a book, enjoy yourself, maybe your coffee in the morning. Or at night, you take this all away, throw a fire pit in the center, which I would love. Some s'mores, you know, roast a little s'mores, make some with uh, friends and family, eat those, or alone. I'd have like 10 out here on my own uh, without anybody else. Really cool area though, amazing shrubs, bushes, plants of all sorts and kinds. And then that leads us over to our fenced in, which is really nice actually, fenced in pool area. Now, I don't wanna to step too far back because I'm gonna fall into the pool, but walking out this way, we've got our own spot for our umbrella to, to sit into the pool. We've got a waterfall with some turtles in it, and you have your own jumping rock back here. Tell me how many pools, Christian, that you've been to have their own jumping rock. Any? None. Zero, zip, nil, first one. Wouldn't you want a jumping rock on your pool? Got some cool poolside lounging table, pool toys, all sorts of fun stuff, all the bushes, ton of privacy. There's really no windows uh, from neighbors that are peeking over that can really see it, um, you know, jumping into the pool, skinny dipping, whatever you want to do. Really cool area, beautifully done. And then at night, when you're sick of being in the sun all day, having to put loads of sunscreen on like myself, you walk on over and underneath your other awning, you have your own hot tub. The jets are on, they're fired up. Don't wanna get in here right now because it is blazing hot out still. But really, really nice to have. They really thought of everything. I'm telling you, so much love 
and care went into this home. We've got the pool equipment down this way with all the river rock that looks really pretty as well. You can't even tell where that pool equipment is and or hear it because they hit it away so good. Now, everybody, I wanna thank you all for joining us today on this beautiful home tour at our newest listing at Three Bonnie Court in Pleasant Hill, California. Once again, my name is Cameron Chatterton with Chatterton Homes Group powered by Twin Oaks Real Estate. I wanna see you out here in person, not just watching through the screen. So come on down when we have the open house. I'd love to see you here, shake your hand and meet you in person. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you at the next one. Thanks for joining. Bye everybody.